So how do I install a system? In this video, we're gonna show you how to connect the cameras and configure the network video recorder and show you how you can view and record video footage. So now that you've run all your cables and crimped them to the standard, it's time to set up the system. So the first step is mounting of the cameras. Use the waterproof gland that comes in the box. Then the second thing to do is plug that camera in and mount the camera to the eve or the surface. If you're not mounting the camera to say a false ceiling, then you're gonna be needing a, uh, what do you call it? A junction box to mount it to that hard surface. This box will then allow you to use a conduit gland or come in through the back and it gives you a place to store the excess cable. So then what we're gonna do after that is we're gonna plug the power cord into the NVR. So you grab a monitor, plug the power cord in and connect it either via HDMI or the VGA cable on the back of the monitor. Turn on the monitor and select the correct uh, input on the VGA or HDMI, depending on the cable that you've used. Then you're gonna do is plug in the mouse that comes with the NVR, or if you have a spare keyboard, you can plug that in as well, but that's really optional. Otherwise, you can use the virtual keyboard to enter in all these details. So what we're gonna do now is gonna plug in all the cameras into the used ports of the PoE on the back of the NVR. You know, the network ports are grouped together on one side. So if you want to show which camera in a specific order, for example, plug them in the sequence that of the corresponding port. So if you want camera one to be in position one, plug it into port one. And then what you're gonna do is plug the cable from your router or moment into the LAN port of the uh, NVR. If internet's available on site, which hopefully it is when you time to set this up. So what you do is power up the NVR and now follow the prompts. So in this first screen, we're gonna set up the administration password. So we need to make sure that it's between eight and 16 characters, and it has at least two of the um, upper and lower case numbers. Next we'll do is confirm the password. For instance, we're just gonna put a QWERTY123 hash, make it nice and simple. Uh, you see that they match. Um, here what we'll do is we'll tick this box here. So this will use the NVR password uh, and pass that on also to the cameras. If you want now, you can also hit in this reserved email address for if you need to reset the password. Hit activate. Uh, here we can draw an unlock pattern, so a grid that we can easily remember so you don't need to use the password. Uh, in this case here, we'll draw a backwards L. Then I'll ask you to confirm that again. Or alternatively, you could use you know, the do not use unlock pattern. In this next window, we've got the time zone. So we'll go and find Melbourne, Sydney. Uh, you can select your date format, you know, your system date and the system time. Hit next. This is where we've got DHCP, um, so you can either set a static IP address here. Um, if you're connected to a router, you can simply enable the DHCP and auto obtain the DNS, uh, and then that will pre-populate. If it's not connected to a router, you're gonna have to set your static IP addresses here, um, but just be mindful that you may need to reset that again once you've connected up to a router. In this next window here, this is where we actually allow the NVR to go online. Um, so what we'll do here is we will click on the enable button. Uh, once we've enabled it, you'll get this pop-up screen. Uh, here's your QR code that we will scan a bit later on, but we'll, you have to read and tick the box that agrees to the service terms and privacy statement. Once you've gone through that and tick that, hit OK. Um, the next thing you'll see here is this verification code. So at the moment it's just set to this and this is the QR code that you will scan uh, on the Hilook app. So what we'll do now is we'll just change this QR code or verification code should I say. Uh, we'll just change it to backwards QWERTY with a hash. Once we've done that, hit confirm. And then we'll hit next. Ah, we've got an error here. So it can only contain digits, uppercase letters and lowercase letters. So we can't actually put in the, the symbol there. So we'll just remove the symbol. Hit confirm. And next. So this next screen will show you all the cameras that are online. So if you plug them all in, they'll come up and show you the online status there. In this next window, we're gonna actually uh, initialize the hard drive. So you should see here a hard drive, should tell you capacity and how much space is available. What we'll do now is we'll hit this uh, in it and this will initialize and erase everything on the hard drive, basically formatting the hard drives. Uh, it will go through this initialization process where you can see uh, where it's 20% you know, at the moment. And then once that's done, we hit finish and then your cameras and all that will be up and running. So in the next video, we're going to go through how to change the names of the cameras, how to set up the NVR on a mobile phone, 
so you can see all these cameras remotely. So if you found this video informative, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and click on the bell to subscribe. This will allow you to get notified of our latest product reviews and tips designed to save you time. At EQL, we're always here to help and support your business.